Hello, my name is Ronaldo Rucker Jr. I am a teacher at Grace Davis High School in Modesto, California. Um, I'm a resource teacher and a BSU advisor. And what's important uh, for the students because they get to see, you know, uh, careers that they're interested in or maybe didn't know they were interested in, but now they can put, you know, a face to it. They get to talk to different lawyers. Even today, they have to talk to judges, ask questions, and just be comfortable with the process and know that you know they have a voice. Um, so it's just a, a different type of education. And uh, Jaku uh, Wilson talked about the racial facial video, is that it kind of played to the style of the students currently. A lot of quick images. It showed current images and past images and did a good job of connecting the two. Um, and it's just something that all students should be able to watch and kind of get a sense of how they feel about these racial issues that are going on today and being able to talk about it. Hello, I'm Ramson Yukana from Grayson Davis High School in Modesto, California. I was invited today to come watch the court watch because I'm involved in the high school mock trial team and I was really fascinated by the justice system. What I liked about racial facial was that it opened your eyes to the injustices of, um, that were treated to minorities in this country throughout its history. Yes, I'd recommend uh, a lot of other high school students to watch the video because it really does open your mind to see um, what other people and other minorities have gone through through the history of this country. I enjoyed experiencing like firsthand like the direct examination and cross examination of the witnesses and like the processes of the court. Um, today, uh, a lot of things I've done in mock trial at my school, I saw a um, witness in the court, like how um, this, uh, describing the witness and what he's wearing and like bringing a witness onto the uh, stand and then direct examination and cross examination and objections. A lot of it was similar to what we do in our fake mock trial. I believe the entire mock trial team took their experiences so they're more comfortable in what a real court is so they can actually um, imitate that in their mock trial case. Today watching the court, uh, watching the court watch was made it seem like a more realistic goal to becoming an attorney and I recommend anyone to come and experience this. I'm Jamari Limbrick. I go to Thomas Downey High School in Modesto, California. Um, court watch was very interesting because we got to see how lawyers work in their actual courtroom. We got to see how the jury works and how the defense and the prosecution works, how the examining and cross examining works, and actually being able to watch what goes on in the courtroom. And that was very interesting and helpful. Because um, I feel that people should come to court watch to see how court really works and for it they can see it's not like it is on TV and for they can get an idea of our actual criminal justice system um, and how it actually works in America today. Hi, um, I'm Daniel Silva. I go to Grayson Davis High School. Um, I came to court watch today because I thought it'd be a new experience, something fun, so I just thought I'd come out and try it. <laughs> I thought it was um, interesting that it's very different than what you see on TV than compared to what actually happens in the courtrooms. My name is Lene Greer. I go to Grace Davis High School in Modesto, California. I came to understand the law system and actually get a feel of what it's like to be in a courtroom. I believe other students should come to court watch so that they can see the different type of job opportunities that they have. I like the racial facial video because it portrayed what it's like to be African American or Asian American, Native American, Mexican American in America. I believe the racial facial video should be showed in high schools so that there is a better understanding of what every race went through and why we're here today. Well, today my favorite part was actually going into the courts and watching the preliminary hearing and understanding and also meeting a judge as well. Hi, I'm Divine Trahan. Um, I go to Grace Davis High. I'm 11th grader. I came to court watch because um, all my life my mom's always said you should be a lawyer. So I want to see how everything is um, connected with the government and everything. Um, I don't know, I like the system. I also come to make sure it's like equal justice like they say there is um, for race and humans basically. I like the racial facial video because it really taught me a lot in just eight, 8 minutes 52 seconds. Um, there was a lot of similarities and 
I don't know the words for it, but there is pictures that symbolize what happened um, in the old times that are happening now. Like for example, there was a picture of um, how the slaves were brought in Africa and they were all combined in a boat with no room or space. And there was a picture of jail when there was just African Americans in jail with no space and all in basically in one spot, which really portrayed it and everything. I think other students should come to Core Watch for it. It's an amazing thing. Just coming all the way from Modesto, San Francisco, and just seeing all the beauty, going to court, watching all the justice and fight crime, and seeing everyone really defending for you, it's amazing. Uh, my name is Akash Kumar. I go to Peter Johansson High School in Modesto, California. And what I really liked about the video was not only did it show about black culture and the struggles of like black people throughout the decades in history, but also showed all the other different races, like um, Japanese and Muslims and all that. So that's what I really liked about the video. Uh, I think other kids should be watching the video because it will kind of like, open their eyes to outside world and maybe help them um, like know what to say and what not to say, help people respect each other.